In today's video, I'll show you how to add music to videos inside LumaFusion using music from the YouTube Audio Library. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how to fade music out using a transition. The first thing you've got to do is import the music you want to use into LumaFusion, unless you already have it imported. Open the Files app, go to your Downloads folder, and you should find your music track downloaded there. Long press and hold on the track that you want to import, and tap on Share. Next you'll be presented with a share sheet. Swipe over and find LumaFusion in the apps list. Tap on it. When you do, it may take a few seconds, but the track has been imported into LumaFusion. Go into the imported area, and tap on Other App, and you'll see I have my track imported. I'm at the end of my video where I want to add the music, and I'm going to drop it down into the second audio track. Here's why. Because I might need to adjust the volume, but this video also has a voiceover, as you can see in the audio track above the music. I only want to adjust the volume for the music. I'm going to play the clip now, and as you can see, the volume's okay, but it comes into the yellow and at some points into the red so I can turn down the volume. I don't need this much of the music track, so I'm going to scrub back to the end of the video, right about here, and then I'm going to select the audio track by tapping on it. And I'll tap the scissors to split the track and delete the unwanted audio. Here's a trick I just picked up for fading music out. Because there's nothing after it, you can use a cross dissolve transition. Just select the audio track like before, tap on the plus sign from the main toolbar, tap on transitions. This will automatically add a cross dissolve transition. Let me scrub back. And I'll play the video from about here. Of apps. And then tap Import Audio to CapCut. And there's my project inside the CapCut video editor, where I can now try out the auto captions feature for subtitles. For more LumaFusion tutorials like this one, check out these videos here, and I'll see you next time.